Hey everyone, how you doing? Do you remember these old patch which I made some time ago? I think I called it typography patch number two and I shared it on my Patreon and this is about uh, creating uh, letters and then you can compose like a word and the letter will go form that word using some physics. So they will bun, uh, bounce against each other and uh, let's see, they will fly to the desired position. Now, if someone asked me how to modify this patch in order to modify the position where this word land, which is totally understandable, and also how to add more symbols, like more letters, like special letters, like uh, with umlaut and whatnot, and even maybe numbers, why not? So, great. Uh, so I'm now going to show you how to do that. Before we do that, let's see how this patch actually works. Um, this patch is kind of very complex for some reason, although I'm not sure it needs to be, or at least not in all its parts. So what it does is that, first of all, it renders all the single letters into a texture, okay? So they are rendered with um, a GGL text that draws to a GGL node, and then this node draws to a matrix, uh, which then sends the letters to parts, fills basically parts of this texture with, uh, with the single letters until it completes the whole alphabet. So for example, if we change the uh, exactly, if we change the font, it needs to recreate this whole uh, passage, which takes, uh, like it does it every 100 milliseconds, it does a new letter, so it takes like a while. Cool. Uh, so this is the first part. Then the letters get applied to the elements, uh, um, to this GGL mesh object, which draws point mode, it draws particles, it draws points, and these points are transformed into quads using a shader. And the texture coordinates for the shader um, are mm, displaced according to which index of the uh, letter, the current letter is being drawn. So for example, if we have to draw this letter here with the GGL mesh, the I, for example, and it needs to jump um, the texture coordinate until it arrives to the ones uh, related to the I, and then it can uh, this square, this square, this um, billboard particle basically will draw uh, the texture at that point. So this is kind of convoluted. Then uh, the part that generates the, um, the force to attract the letters to this position, this is actually done in JavaScript. So we send a word to JavaScript, right? And in JavaScript, it basically takes the index of the letters in that word or word symbol. So what it's going to do is to check uh, uh, if there are some duplicates in the symbol and for each duplicate will go one row down in the matrix which contains the letters. So the matrix that contains the letter is 26 by 10, so we have 26 times the alphabet, A, B, C, and, and whatnot, and this repeated for 10 times. So basically, if we do that, if we replace these random coordinates, the initial random coordinates with that, and just do this, you will see that this is 10 times the, the whole alphabet, right? So uh, we can have maximum a symbol that has 10 times the same letters, otherwise it's going to run out of letters. So then uh, these indices of these words will go inside this JIT gen, which will check if this index is the same as the one of the input uh, mat of the cell of the input matrix, which is basically the position from GG JIT fees multiple, if the cell is the same as the index, it will um, make the strength uh, on basically multiplying it by one, otherwise it will multiply it by zero, and then it will scale the position. So we'll rescale uh, the index uh, basically of these uh, of this of the letters in this symbol between minus max position and max position. This is the 
The sweeter side at the moment is 0.05 by the word length. So if we make this smaller, this will basically all the letters will try to occupy the same exposition. If we make these wider, they will uh, spread out. So the epsilon position is simply cho uh, is simply set here by a constant value, which is 0 0.8 here. So the first question was how to modify the position of these letters. So let's do that first. So I will create a param here and we'll call it, uh, let's actually call it um, uh, phrase pos and let's set it by 0 and 0 0.8. Let's set it to that. And what we will do is to basically just switch x, switch epsilon to that. And epsilon is just going to be this value here. And I guess the x we can just sum it to uh, whatever x is coming out of here, right? So, okay, so now if we change these values with, uh, let's actually use a pack object, phrase pause ff for the x and the y connected here. So let's try that. A couple of float numbers. Let's try to move it. Uh, of course, this must be 0 0.8. It's maybe our code here at 0 0.8 for the y. Right, so we can now move these, uh, the position where these letters land. But this is going to be the same position for all the... Um, so if we write now another thing, like test, 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 whatever. Uh, yeah, this is going to be replaced by that. So we cannot really like compose uh, words different words in different positions, I guess, at the moment with this patch, but don't really worry about it because I'm working uh, on something to completely solve this problem of the text forever. So don't don't think too much about it because this is going to it's going to be fixed in a completely different way soon. But if in the meantime you want to play around with this patch, yeah, that's how you can change the X and Y position for the word that is currently being generated, is currently being moved, basically. And then the second question was how to add more symbols and letters and whatnot. So, basically, let's say we want to add a couple of numbers. Let's say we want to add the numbers to that. Well, what we should do is to first change the number of the dimensions of this, this matrix. So, make it, for example, 30 by 10, so we will have 30 more, uh, four more symbols that we can add. So let's change this number wherever we find it. Right, so if I do that, how will it now look like? Let's see if I change again that to S norm. Okay, it's just starting again from scratch, from A, B, C, D. So these letters, I think, are generated somewhere here inside this sub patcher and in fact there is a call uh, right there is a call where all these letters are stored and as you can see they basically start repeating after 25 they start repeating with the, the small version of the letter so let's try to change that for example instead of a b c d into zero one two and three and I'm going to close that. I think it's going to be... Oops, did I do something wrong? So if I reopen it now, let's see if it worked. Yeah, right, so we got uh, four numbers instead of the A, B, C, D. So let's try to recreate these... Uh, uh, let's try to recreate the letters. Let's see what happens. Okay, so let's see if this works by resending this number here, and it seems this works. I actually already tried it, so yeah, it looks like it's working. So we now got the numbers. So in case you want to have more of those, you just need to make this number bigger, uh, moldy, modify the um, the call object here. Uh, let's give it kind of an accent to make it stand out, right? And this will render this into this texture, which then will uh, uh, work, I guess. So let's try to write like uh, something like this, test 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, let's see if this actually works. 
and uh, let's see if it, this gets passed correctly. Yeah, this gets passed correctly to JavaScript, but somehow I think it's not recognizing the, the, the numbers. So, right, because I guess we need to modify also this alphabet. Yeah, because this is where we actually... This is actually where we get the index for the stuff. So we should actually use the same call. I don't know why I'm not using the same call. Actually, this is very silly, but just for the sake of this video, uh, let's just uh, add the numbers. I mean, it should work, so it's kind of okay, but it's not super elegant, but we never cared about that. So let's see if uh, now it works. So let's do that. And yes, as you can see, uh, the numbers are sprinting up. And where is this? Where does this tree wanna go? I don't know why it's doing that. It looks like there's no tree that wants to go there. And then there is a M here. Um, okay, I think what we need to do is also to change the dimensions of this index mat. Uh, very unfortunate, let's actually create a message to change the dimensions of this mat, uh, this matrix automatically. So let's go inside here, let's create a function. Let's call it uh, change uh, mat size or something, or index mat size. And this is going to be the new size. So this is only for the kind of how many letters we want, uh, because then there is also how many rows of letters we want, but this will, will keep fixed to that for the moment. There's a lot of compromises in this patch. So, uh, dim, we're just going to set that to size and 10, right? And then this is going to be to, basically the matrix is going to be erased. So we need to resend the word for sure. So uh, let's send this message to the JavaScript. So let's receive the targets land here. And let's create these, uh, let's call this function. So, so change mat, uh, how did we say? Change index mat size. Change index mat size, right? Dollar one. And you should uh, then change the dimensions of this matrix. Right, so then if we try again, right, now it seems to work. Let's try with the numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> they uh, struggled to get in place, but uh, in the end they managed. So let's see if I say then, uh, 3, 0, 3, 1, 2, right? Just to add a bit more stuff um okay so it seems to work let's just try to add the letters after that and okay it seems to work right so ooh. oh this is pretty crazy um uh, because it considers that to be a force i think so yeah kind of careful with these numbers it's actually pretty silly the whole way these force stuff is built is kind of silly but it's what we got for the moment okay everyone so i hope this was uh clear uh if not you know where to find me i will leave a link to the patch the original one plus this one modified in the description of course which is on my patreon and uh, cool i will see you in the next proper video which is going to be a proper tutorial this was more like kind of a short very specific thing uh all right see you soon ciao